Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are doing three simple watercolor holiday cards. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today we are doing no fail, super easy holiday card designs. I'm gonna show you a simple way to kind of get your aesthetic together, put it in three different ways and just make it as simple and easy but as beautiful as possible. So I'm gonna show you some different foliage in my sketchbook to start. Um, and then what I want you to do before you do that actually is consider a color palette. And what I mean by that is like, I don't know about you guys, but my mom always had <laughs> um, a certain color palette. She would change it up every year in our house for Christmas and she'd go with that. So if you want it to kind of match your aesthetic of your holiday theme in your house, look up a color palette. So I have this board that I started on Pinterest and I just looked up Christmas color palettes and different things showed up like this beautiful blue and gray one. Um, I really like this teal and red with this kind of beigey color and this like deep green. You know, it can be more traditional or you can throw some gray in there. So pick a color palette before you start. That will probably take the most time is just deciding on what kind of color palette you wanna do. I kinda of like this traditional bit um, with the greens and then I might actually add some gold in here, which would be a really nice um, addition to our card. So that's the first thing you wanna do is pick your color palette. And then I'm gonna teach you a couple different simple, simple foliage pieces that you're gonna use on all your different Christmas cards or your holiday cards. And we're just gonna arrange them in different ways so they all look different and you're not getting bored doing the same design over and over again. But we're making it super, super easy. It's just kind of like a foolproof way to design your own Christmas cards or holiday cards. Okay, so I think the color palette I'm gonna go with today is this one. Um, I really, really like the deep greens, the gold, and then this deeper red. And then it has like this beigey kind of pinkish color. So. We're gonna go off that guide and I'm just gonna start by mixing my colors. So I'm gonna grab some Hooker's Green. I have my Winsor & Newton Professional Paints in my palette. Okay. My Hooker's Green, a bit of Dioxazine Purple to just deepen that green, like so. So that's my green. Then for my red, I'm gonna use this Alizarin Crimson because it's that deeper red. Um, if you do not have like a dark red, you could use like your brighter, lighter red, which is like my Windsor red, um, and then just add a tad bit of green to it, like a tiny, tiny bit, and it will be a little bit deeper. You know what, I might even add a little bit of purple to this. You could do that too, to make it a little bit darker. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Okay, and then for our peachy kind of color, which can be a little bit difficult, so I already have some leftover pink here in my palette and a little bit of brown. Let's see what that looks like together. I feel like that might be the color I want. <laughs> Anyways, so that was just some permanent rose. And then I think it was like a little bit of burnt umber to make it like this dusty color. And then you just water it down like crazy. Okay, we're gonna swatch them. And then a gold. So I have a few different gold paints, but I keep coming back to this little swatch card of my KMS watercolors, they're handmade watercolors. Um, and I think that would be really pretty. So I think we're gonna go with like this bright gold, the C3PO. Um, I'll link her watercolor shop down below. But let's just start by swatching it to see if this is the color palette we want. So here's our green, which I think is pretty good. Our red, ooh, I like that red with the tiniest bit of purple. Well, let's check our beige-ish color. It's on a bit more pinky, but I kind of like it. And then we're gonna do some gold. Yes, yeah, so that is our color palette. Um, and like I said, switch it up. Pick something that speaks to you and you can just do the same foliage. So let's work with this and get started. So the first piece of foliage we are going to do is like super simple leaves, just like little branches of leaves. Um, and I think for that, you know what, let's do gold. Let's do some gold leaves. Okay. 
because I think I might use the green for more of the pine leaves, but we can, we can see. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna zoom you guys in first so you can see a bit better. I'm just gonna start off with a little stem. And we're just gonna do some gold leaves. Really simple, I'm using my size six Emma Lefebvre Craftimo brush. Okay, just keeping it simple. Like so, another way you could do it, you could also just do like maybe outlines of leaves. So do your like little stem and then just do like an outline. Make it a little bit more delicate. So do like a fancier stem, like a longer stem. Just change it up a bit. Okay. Like that. Just find different ways that you can do this. All right, let's do our pine needles. Um, so I'm gonna grab my green. We're gonna do a little stem. And there's two different ways you can do this. So you can do like the long pine needles and try not to make it look too symmetrical where like they're all in a straight line like that. Have some kind of going up, some kind of going to the side. So it looks a bit more realistic and organic. So you can do the longer pine needles or let's make a bit more of this color. You can do some of the shorter ones. Let's do like two little sprigs here. Again, not all the same way. You can have some coming up right in front. Like that, and then this way. Like that. Super simple. All right, so for our pink, I feel like, I feel like um, maybe some like buds, like, I don't know, just like some buds and we can use like, um, uh, even like a gold stem on them too. You could do that. So let's do like, kind of like a little bud like that, like that, making it super light and airy. Okay. Actually, I might make it even lighter, just taking up some of that color and putting some of the color towards the tip. So it's really, really light. And then you can grab green or gold. Let's try some gold. Or you know what? I might, mm, yeah, let's try some gold. And I'm just gonna touch the bottom gently. Like that. And you could even do some like little gold leaves coming off of it. Or you could do like more of a green stem. Or if you wanted to get like more of a bronzy color in there, you could do that. Let's do some smaller buds. It's a little bit too dark, it's okay. But we're looking for contrast. So it's nice to have like bolder pieces, like these darker um, stems and like how we're gonna do the berries, but then having these really, really light washes of color. Okay, and then just like little Stems like that. You can do little leaves if you like. Like that. I know it's really, really light, but it will look a little bit different um, on the actual card when it's surrounded by the other stuff. And then we're gonna do some bold berries. Okay, with the red. And I always like to leave like a little bit of white space. So it looks like there's a highlight. We're just staggering them. Have like little clusters. Like so. Like that. And then you could always get a brown too. 
Um, so you know what, I might actually just make a brown with, I'm going to bring some of this red over to this green. And we can just make a brown. Like that. And just kind of connect them all. Like so. Okay, we can have some extra little sticks coming up if you want. All the little tops of the berries. Like so. Okay, so that's our foliage. Um, I feel like we could even add another green into here for some more leaves. I don't know. Like you really just got to play around. I'm going to grab some sap green and a bit of burnt umber to make like more of like an olivey kind of green. And we could do some more leaves like this. Maybe some fatter ones. I don't know. Might add that in there too. Let's see how the first card looks and then we'll we'll get into it. So this is kind of like the foliage that we're going to be doing. Um, and then I'm just going to show you some different designs of how we can do it. Okay, so for my cards, I actually bought this off Amazon. It's a 50 pack of Strathmore watercolor cards. And I usually do my watercolor paintings on watercolor paper first and then I just glue them onto my cards. Today I'm going to just test these out and just see how the foliage is going to look on this. Um, it's decent paper. It's not the best paper. It's nice and thick, but you get, it's a little bit harder to do some color bleeds and softer blends. But for this, I don't think we're going to need that as much. So that's what we're going to do. So I have three cards and I'm going to show you three different ways to arrange your foliage. Now, the first one, I am going to use some tape to block off. And I've done this before for a design. I'm going to use some tape. Actually, let's make it this way. Okay. I'm going to use some tape right across the middle, which is where you can write your holiday message in after. Okay, let's just make sure this is even for you so you can see. All right. And all we're going to do is just start placing the foliage that we learned around the cart, kind of overlapping the tape. So let's start with some of those really light buds. Okay, so I'm just taking some of the pink and I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna do the bigger buds for this. So just like these rounded shapes, like so. All right, and then I wonder if I wanna do, I like the gold stem, I think that would be cute. We'll leave some gold in there and just have it bleed into the base a little bit and then just do like tiny little gold leaves like that. I think that looks cute. Uh, let's do one over here. So I like to go not exactly symmetrical like one and two. I like to kind of go one, two, three. Um, I feel like working in threes just looks better for the eye if that makes sense. Um, and but do whatever works for you. We'll do three there. And let's just do some over here. We'll do, I feel like there could be another one right here. We'll do three there. I'm gonna grab my gold little touch there oops it's a little darker oh, that's fine like that yeah so for something like this um, doing like simple foliage these cards work well so you just can paint right on the card and not have to worry about other watercolor paper okay so there's our first one. Um, and then let's get some, let's actually just get our gold in there, I think. Our gold leaves. So I'm going to, so I'm gonna start off with a 
little stem there. And I think I'm going to do those like more delicate looking ones. So I'm going to do some stems like that. And just kind of have them popping up everywhere. And I might just do two of these for now. Just trying to stagger these stems. You can always flip up your card upside down if you need to. And then maybe one right here. Like so. All right. Now let's get into the foliage. Or not the foliage, like the green. The greenery. I feel like maybe we'll do some longer pine needles over here. I want to make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to try and go behind that bud doing some like overlapping um maybe we'll go this uh, i don't know I'm trying to kind of place it in places that make sense but not too symmetrical because we want it to look kind of natural looking I almost kind of like this without the red too. I think it's such a like a soft, delicate palette with just like the pink and the gold and the green. I'm gonna add the red, but that could be a really cute palette as well. I'm gonna do four, I think. Maybe five actually to make it an odd number. Do one over here. Maybe just like a small one. <clears throat> okay. Then let's get some of the other greenery in there. I think I'm gonna use that olive green. And we're gonna do some more solid leaves, rounded. Again, I'm trying to do that kind of overlapping look. So we're going behind some of the other foliage. We can always add in like maybe more gold sprigs and stuff like that too. Like once you stand back and kind of look at it, like you'll know what it might need. Get more color. Have some behind here. Cute. I like this. I think I might do another like gold leaf thing here. Let's add in our red berries to see where we can place them. Okay, so I'm gonna do it over here. Just make it a bit deeper. I actually like the red with it too. This palette turned out a lot better than I anticipated. See, I find it can like be all about the color palette. Like if you look, my berries aren't perfectly round. My leaves aren't perfectly 
leaf-like always like but if you have a nice color palette it can really help tie everything in together so figuring out a good color palette is something to consider for sure a couple berries down here I'm trying to decide where they can go maybe one down here it's darker so it can overlap in top on top of that little thing. <laughs> I'm not making any sense. I'm kind of too into this. And then maybe a bit one over here. Okay. I'm going to wait to get the stem on there, um, but I think I'm going to add some more of the gold leaves because there's only two. I feel like we could do a bit more with that. So I'm going to have another one come up here. I feel like there has to be something else right there. Maybe another like little peach. I don't know. No, maybe we'll just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I'm supposed to be telling you guys teaching you what to do, but I'm also kind of winging this at the same time. So we're learning together because that's what we do on this channel. I don't have all the answers to everything. I just kind of learn as we go. We need a gold one over here, balance it out a bit. Also trying not to touch the red berries because I don't want the red berries to bleed into my gold. So if you have a shakier hand, you might want to wait. I probably should wait, but we're just going to do it anyway. Maybe I could add a bit more of those like little green leaves. I don't know. Actually, those berries might not even need stems necessarily. Let's get a, you know what, let's use this green to add a bit more like pine needles. We can do like the tiny ones. If you want. Like that. So this part's taking longer than I anticipated, but I am I'm just I'm kind of having a lot of fun with it. So Maybe this isn't supposed to be like a quick five minute card tutorial. It definitely can be, but I'm enjoying kind of adding more and more little details and stuff to it. I think it looks really cute. I think that's good. All right. So let's take off the tape and just see what it looks like. There we go. That's super pretty. Okay, and we're gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna do some lettering in the center after. Okay, so while we're waiting for that one to dry, I'm gonna show you another um, pattern you can do that's super simple. Okay, so for this one, we're doing the same foliage. We're just gonna be going around, like coming out from the back, okay? So again, we're just gonna start with our really light color first. All right, I'm gonna do our little buds here. One, two, and we'll do a smaller one. Three, let's do maybe another one over this way. Two. Three, grab your gold for your stem. There's a lot of gold in there. That's okay. You can just mop it up. There we go. Again, a bit more than I wanted. Do some little leaves coming off of it. And then I might do one more over here, I think. Maybe we'll just have like two. And then maybe like one over here. So it's kind of symmetrical, but it's still 
Uh, I was going to say one, but that's fine. Um, it's still kind of symmetrical, but it's not. Does that make sense? I don't think I make much sense. Like so. All right. So there's our little buds. Okay, and then let's do some of that, those pine needle things, pine needle sprigs. And this can be a lot more um, spread out. Like it doesn't have to be super tight together like our last one was. Okay, we're just kind of placing them around. But a little smaller here. One, two, we'll do one this way. Like that. Let's do our berries. And then we'll add the gold one last. This would take like no time at all to do. And I tend to do like five ish berries just to stagger them. Or three. Maybe you can do a couple over here. Like so, and we'll do the stems after. So let's do it like this. And then let's do our gold. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do these ones a bit more solid this time. Like I said, you can change it up. Or you could even just like pair both of them. Both little designs, like the see-through ones and then the solid ones. If that makes sense. I don't even know if I'm making sense anymore, guys. <laughs> to those outline ones. Like that, and then we'll do maybe one more over here. like that and then maybe some more of that greenery let's get our olive color do the little thicker leaves And just kind of fill it wherever you think you'd like, like that. And then lastly, let's do those little stems for the berries. A little 
bit on top. little extra sticks like little tiny leaves or something on them just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting I don't know whatever feels right okay so there we go there is our other one and then for our last design, um, again, super simple. We're just gonna have it going this way and this way. All right, so let's start with our light color. It's kind of gonna be kind of like two little garlands. Maybe like that. And then one down here. This one's gonna go this way though. Grab our gold. Okay, and we're just gonna have like smaller stems. This could actually be the stem for the base of this garland, like that. So for this, I want you to think curve, curve, okay? Like so. Okay, let's get some like little gold leaves. Actually, no, we'll do the gold leaves after. Let's get our greenery, okay? We're just gonna, you know what? You can go throughout the whole kind of curve and then we can add on to it. So I'm gonna just Even just like this, I like these three colors together too. I would do a color palette with just these three. They're so cute. Let's get some little bits of the lighter green in there. Like that. Yeah, like this color palette, I like almost better. <laughs> Let's have it coming out from different sides. There we go. Okay, then our berries. We can make them even smaller this time. Yeah, we'll do like these tiny little berries for this one. So they're not as big. And then gold, little bits of gold leaves. We'll do tiny little gold leaves this time. Like this. See, same kind of idea, same color palette, same, same style but you're just changing it up. You're changing up the size, you're changing up maybe some of the colors, not the colors, but uh, like the values, making some lighter, some darker, whatever works and kind of draws you to it, do. 
There's no wrong way to do this. Like so. Cute. All right, so let's look at these fully dry. I'm gonna do some lettering on them really quick and then we can kind of look at the set of our different style ideas. And there you go. There are your three different super easy foliage holiday card designs. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.